Hey guys, and welcome back to the Wad Docs, Project 365, Episode 3, still up here at Mom and Dad's house. Um, yesterday, we dove into, uh, into a maintaining an established torso angle throughout the, well, throughout the interim of the squat, but we only actually made it down to the 6-inch portion of the squat. Um, there's two more sections that we're, we're going to explore today, uh, the 8-inch squat and then the full-depth squat. Uh, but today, we're going to focus on lower extremity tracking. Now, before we jump all the way into that, I'm going to talk about something that's you know, been old hat knowledge forever. That, that old story that the gym teachers would tell you, your knees were never allowed to pass your toes, and, uh, and if you did, that was bad. That knowledge comes from a study, University of Duke, 1978, it said that the tibias, the lower bone of the leg, had to stay vertical throughout the entire part of the squat to reduce shear on the knee. Well, that study wasn't redone again until 2003, University of Memphis redid that study and they did confirm that there was an increase in intraarticular pressure, the pressure inside your knee, by 28% when your knees pass your toes during the squat. However, they also confirmed that there was a subsequent increase of a thousand percent of hip intraarticular pressure, the pressure inside your hip, due to the excessive torso angle that you'd need to have uh, to, to be able to keep balance. So the difference would be this. If I were to keep my, my tibias totally vertical, and they, they were to say totally vertical, I would have to bend over more to keep those vertical and stay balanced. If not, if I stood up, I would fall backwards. So today, we're going to go into the 8-inch squat and the full-depth squat, focusing on lower extremity tracking. And what I want you guys to understand today is that the knees are allowed to pass the toes, not excessively, but they are allowed to pass the toes. So we're going to take everything from yesterday and we're going to build right upon that. We're going to start the squat. We have our athletic stance. Feet are underneath our shoulders. We place our, or push our, our hips back to load our posterior chain. We're now in our two-inch squat. We're going to drive down to our four-inch squat and then our six-inch squat. From right here, what I want you guys to realize is that the knees can start tracking forward a little bit, not excessively, but a little bit. So as I go down to the 8-inch position that's below parallel, you're going to notice that my knees drive a little bit forward, but not horribly so. And then, once I reach where my calves touch my hamstrings, my full depth of my squat, my knees did go forward, not excessively over my toes, but they're a little bit. As we drive out of the hole, that's where we're going to try to drive back and up. So my torso angle stays the same the entire squat, but my knees are allowed to track forward just a little bit time. Uh, just a little bit. So one more time, we push our weight back, load our posterior chain. We're going to drive down four inch squat or two inch squat, four inch squat, six inch squat, right? Knees track just a slightly forward as we go into the eight inch squat and all the way down to the full squat. When we drive out of the hole, our torso angle stays the same. One time from the frontal view, what I want you guys to address here is that my knees don't dip in. They either stay directly over top of my toes or they go out above my toes, okay? So what's going to happen there? We're going to start up our, our, our uh, squat progression, okay? I got posterior hip engagement. I got my knees out over top of my toes in my two-inch squat, four-inch squat, six-inch squat, eight-inch squat. You'll notice that my knees are outside of my toes, never inside, full squat, outside of my toes, Never inside. This is a recipe for disaster. This is not what we want. A whole bunch of orthopedic problems happen when we start getting that caving either side with those knees coming in. So from right there, driving up, pushing posterior off of our heels. So for today, your prescription is focusing on the 8-inch squat and the full squat with our knees allowed to drift a little bit forward but more out and still maintaining that torso angle all the way in the full depth of the squat. 50 of them by tomorrow. And just remember, guys, we're optimizing function to optimize performance.